in Japan. Let's say I love to eat food. Obviously, like Japanese food is so good, but also the、uh, mentality, the hospitality that they have, and they see beauty in the small things. And- This is Lisa Lee from BTV Travel, and today I would like to share this topic with you called Third Culture Kids. There is four major fun facts about TCKs you can totally find out if you're considered a TCK. So you can check this off your list. If you have three out of four, you are officially considered a Third Culture Kid. Okay, number one on the checklist would be most TCK or Third Culture Kid spend their early developmental stage in a foreign country other than their parents. It's actually during their early developmental years, which is between zero to eight. Sometimes could be older.、Um, also, keep that in mind. That's where the third culture kid comes into play. And also, number two, most TCKs are bilingual and they can speak fluently in more than one language. So basically, I am bilingual and multi also multilingual. I can speak. Fluent English and Chinese, and some French and Japanese. I was actually born in Taiwan. Our full family immigrated to Canada when I was eight, and we moved back when I was twelve. Which I lived in Canada for four years.、Um, I was in、uh, Taiwan for middle school and high school, and I went to college in the States, which I took broadcast journalism at Cal State Fullerton, and I also、uh, took my master dis- degree. Uh, at the University of Warwick. Also, number three on the checklist, third cultural kid usually lived in a foreign country、uh, for more than one year during their early childhood. Number four is most third cultural kid are exposed to more than one culture. So,、uh, based on all these definitions, if you fit three out of four, you are considered a third cultural kid. So, make sure to check that off your little checklist. Okay, and also a lot of people usually confuse TCKs for third culture kid with 1.5 generation. So in my situation, I'm a TCK, a third culture kid, and also a 1.5 generation Taiwanese Canadian. But some people they can be Taiwan, they can be 1.5 generation, but not third culture kid. And most、uh, a lot of third culture kids are also both. A 1.5 generation immigrants, but not every 1.5 generation immigrants are their cultural kids. A lot of people usually confuse these two terms. A brief、uh, definition of TCK is the first culture that you develop is the cu- is the culture that you are born in, like your parents' culture, and the second culture that you've developed is the culture that you immigrated to as a child. And then the third culture is when you're married and when you develop your own family, you you、um, have your own unique identity, and that makes you a third culture kid. Basically, another definition of 1.5 generation is people that have immigrated to the United States. The parents are usually immigrants. It's actually their kid is caught in between two cultures. They're in either or. Caught in between the old world and the new world, and they don't know where their place is. Considered 1.5 generation immigrants, but in this sense, for you to consider the first generation immigrant, you actually have to be born and raised in America. So this term is a little bit wishy-washy and hard to determine. Okay, so I'm actually a Chinese born.、Uh, however, I grew up in Indonesia. I'm also a citizen of Indonesia. So I have the wonderful privilege. I think at that time when I was 11 years old or so, to be able to study in Singapore, my parents were doing really well in their career. So at that time, I actually visited Singapore for a holiday to visit my cousin.、Wow. One area that I actually At a young age, I actually was able to be exposed to this new environment. Hi guys, I'm、uh, Lisa.、Uh, I'm 26 years old, and I'm currently living in Germany. And I'm do- doing a bachelor degree in media design. Okay,、yeah. can you share a little bit about your、uh, cultural background, like your family background? Yeah, you know,、sure. yeah. 
Yeah. So um, I'm half Japanese, half uh, German. My mother is Japanese. My father is uh, German. And I grew up in three different countries. Uh, I was born in Japan and then I moved to Germany to a small city called Bonn. Then I moved back to Japan in Tokyo. I was there till mm -hmm. I think four years or, or something. And I moved then to America, to Washington, D.C., Four years long, I stayed there. And then I moved to Berlin for two years. Afterwards, I moved to uh, Japan, Tokyo again from 2008 to 2012, finished my uh, degree in a German school. And since 2012, I'm living in Germany, Cologne, basically. And uh, just for the background, uh, my father is working at the German embassy, which is the reason why I had to move every three to four years to I'd have to say Japan, Norway, and Greece is my third. It, it, it changes based on the, the season. Like, I really like uh, going around the different Greek islands. That's one of my favorite things to do is like sailing around oh. the Greek islands. Oh. But Japan, I think, is my favorite. I've been there the most amount of times, I think. I just love the culture there. I love the people. They're super nice, super friendly. Food I love there and just the sights there. You know, going outside of Tokyo, there's a lot of cool like bamboo forests and shrine gates and a lot of stuff to see in, in Japan. And then, you know, in Norway, which is my second favorite, I mean, <clears throat> the most insane scenery in the world, you know, these huge fjords, big waterfalls, like very vast landscapes. It looks like a lot of uh, big, like epic movie sets. Favorite country is difficult because every country where I would say I really much adored the experience is uh it has its uniqueness by itself uh i mean japan let's say i love to eat food obviously like japanese food is so good but also the uh, mentality the hospitality that they have and they see beauty and small things and like germany it's completely different uh, culture both has its uniqueness so i wouldn't be able to say what country i would like the most i see everything is, has its uniqueness yeah but tck is a lot more popular term because there is actually a, t a facebook group that's called tck worldwide and if you are a third cultural kid you are also free to join this group